Yo, what is up, you beautiful people? It is your boy Ash, and we are back with another daily upload. Today's video is going to show you guys how to stance out cars in Forza Horizon 4. So make sure you stick around because this video is going to be an absolute banger. If you are new to my YouTube channel, it would mean the world to me if you could hit that big fat subscribe button. Over 60% of people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you are one of them people, make sure you hit the big fat subscribe. Drop a big fat like on the video for me. Drop a comment in the comment section. I network and engage with each and every single one of you that comments on my videos. But hey, let's talk from me. Let's get right into the action, peeps. Now, there are many, many different ways in Forza Horizon 4 to stance out cars, such as drift springs. You also have the race springs too, but there is one special way that I stance out cars in Forza Horizon 4, and that is with the rally springs. For instance, we're going to take this Bentley Continental Forza Edition. If you don't have this car, you could pick it up for quite cheap on the auction house. You want to go over to upgrades and tuning custom upgrade and then you are going to want to upgrade every single part of this car as much as you can until you get to the rally springs and dampers so we're going to purposely head over to the engine upgrades and we're going to click that and upgrade the race intake we're going to do the fuel system every single part of this car that you can kind of imagine will be upgraded i did do a video on this uh previously and it just pushed over 10,000 views, which is pretty cool. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a little link above my uh, my face cam right here for you to go check out. But it really, really hit home with a lot of people in regards to people that were new to the game or people that have just kind of installed Forza Horizon 4. But that is all the engine upgrades done for this car. We're going to go over and do the race brakes. And this is where the kind of... Um, stancing out the car really comes in hand so you have the rally springs and dampers or you have the drift springs we're going to stick the rally springs and dampers on there we're going to upgrade the roll cage and the weight reduction now you can have the stock tires on there you can go with the forza edition race tire compound or you can go with a snow tire compound i'm going to stick with the stock tires you can put the snow tire compound on there but obviously the forza tires aren't a massive hit with a lot of people so we are going to stick the stock tires on there let's do the front width and the back width in regards to wheels i'm going to keep it plain and simple and just put the adv ones on there you can go with kind of any wheels that you want to go with but adv ones in my opinion suit most of the cars you want to go with a 21 inch front and the 21 inch back now when it comes to designing the um the kind of exterior of this car you are going to want to have a play around and kind of look with what sits a lot lower than many others so i'm going to go with the bentley sport front bumper i'm also going to go with the fat wing at the back you're going to want to put the bentley street side skirts on there the hood is an option but i'm going to keep the hood standard you want to back out install that setup and now the magic happens go over to the tuning section of this car go all the way down to springs and it is currently sitting at 6.1 when we drop this it's sitting at 3.9 front and 3.9 rear you're also going to want to go to the alignment and do the camber all the way negative the front and the rear now it is optional you can stiffen the suspension so it doesn't really look like it's bouncing around that much when you drive it now it is optional but you can do the spring stiffness so it stops the car kind of bouncing around when you're driving it but let's head outside and see what this car kind of looks like with all the modifications and the tuning that we've done to the car so as you can see in photo mode this car is sitting quite quite pretty it looks amazing the kind of color scheme that we got on there with the blue and white uh the fitment is really 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 clean in regards to the front and the rear the camber just helps it out massively granted this isn't going to drive very well all depends on the way that you tune it but it is sitting absolutely fantastic it looks even better from the back too now that is the bentley continental forza edition we have another car coming in next i'll see you guys there so the next car on this list is the 2010 Clio RS Forza Edition. Now this car you can pick quite cheap on the auction house too. It's probably sitting in your garage at some point as well. But go over to the upgrades and tuning section. Go to body kits and you want to put the um, Renault Clio Forza Edition body kit on there. And like we did with the previous Bentley, is just upgrade every single part of this car. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you don't have the money to upgrade the uh, the car, just go over to the spring section and do the springs if that suits you a lot better. 
Now, when you come over to the spring section, of course, put the rally springs and dampers onto this. Everything should be kind of already installed with the Forza Edition body kit. You are then going to want to keep the stock tire on there as well. The front should be done and the back should be done. The wheels... You could kind of go with whatever you want to go with. Um, the ADV ones look okay on this car. You kind of have like the deep dish kind of um, ball bet wheels, which look very pretty too. I'm going to go with the nice HRE P43SC wheels. You are going to want to put the 19 inch on the front and 19 inch on the back. And you are going to want to bring out the front track width. Now look at the difference in regards to how that sits. That is stock and that is pulled all the way out. We want to do that to the front and we want to do that with the back install that setup like we did with the bentley then head on over to the tuning section of this car and you want to put the camber all the way negative also this is just to make your car look extra fantastic extra kind of stanced out we're going to apply that setup and i will see you guys outside when we're checking out how this car looks now i have changed the color of this car for you to see a little bit better on how it looks and all around how it stances out in my opinion this is a lot nicer than the bentley it really sits pretty in regards to the the alignment and the springs if we take a look around the car you can really see that track width standing out a lot differently on this car in regards to the bentley like just look at that fitment right there like that is insane that looks genuinely absolutely mental but this is the clio sport forza edition make sure you go get this car because genuinely you're going to impress a lot of friends with this and let me know if you guys have enjoyed the video man hit the big fat like drop a comment in the comment section for me and most importantly hit that big fat subscribe and i will see you guys on tomorrow's video for another absolute banger take care